welcome um, today I wanted to show you how to set up email forwarding to the correct person okay um, you're going to need uh, ionis.com and that's really it you're also going to need a bit of information um, from the person that you will be forwarding the emails to okay um, you're going to need their first and last name this is my in red is my example uh, information you're gonna need their email address and you're gonna also need their position okay so the first thing um, we're gonna do this will uh, happen in two steps it's it's super simple the two steps is create the email and then set up forwarding that's that's about it okay so how we're gonna do that let me bring this up some all right is first thing you need to do is log in to ionis.com okay now to log into ionis.com the login information you will find on the Somerville SDA website for those of you that uh, you know are managers to the website you know how to get there but you hit sign in this is what I'm doing now let it load all right now once it has loaded um, you will see the sign in block you can put in summersvillesda.com that is the domain name as your username that'll work or you can put the email address itself you know the customer id you can do that just pick either one i find it easier just putting in summersvillesda.com the password go ahead and put that in and go ahead and sign in all right so once you sign in this is pretty much what you will see and what you're going to want to do is click on the create email address button okay so let's click on that all right and the next thing you're going to want to do is click on the mail basics option here hit create this one comes with your plan so you don't have to pay for anything I uncheck make sure these are unchecked because uh, virus protection by email archiving for 250 a month unless the church specifically wants to do that you can add that in your budget um, but otherwise I just keep them unchecked okay so what you're gonna do to create now this email is you're gonna take that information we saw earlier okay you're going to use the position name for the email name all right so what we had before is uh position is media okay so we're going to put under the uh email here we're going to put media media and it's going to say at summersvillesda.com okay now then you're going to put a password all right you're going to assign a password. I recommend it says here you need H or more characters. Um, criteria that I, I would suggest for you is also to put in a number, a symbol and an uppercase letter. OK, so let's say. All right, uh, just for security purposes. You don't want it to be super difficult, okay? Uh, but but do keep it simple enough for the people can actually log in, you know? Now that's pretty much all you have to do to uh, set up the email, really, okay? Now before we hit save, uh, we need to do the next step and that is set up the forwarding okay and you can this is pretty much self-explanatory you can kind of look on the screen so under forward emails you're going to click on add forwarding target okay and then you're just going to use the email that again that was up there before i think this was the one okay and um once you hit save that's that's it you're pretty much done um what i'm also going to say is alternatively um, users can log in straight to the IONIS system with their credentials if they don't have or don't want to use a forwarding email. So what they would do is they would go to mail.ionis.com. So um, in your resources, there is an instruction uh, email you can actually send to uh, whoever, giving them instructions on how to actually do this. So mail.ionis.com. 
Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go there and show you once we save what that looks like. And once it's uh, finished loading, okay. Um, see this here, the mail.ionist.com webmail. Um, they can go to straight, you can go to login, you can click from here, but for them, it's gonna be mail.ionist.com. And this will be the email address we put in was media at summersvillesda.com and password. When they first log into this, it's going to ask for the contact and data. Um, so in this case, it's going to be Lucas. Monroe. This can be changed later. Display name. Um, I'm going to put media dash Lucas Monroe and save this. Okay, great. So this is what the mail pretty much looks like on ionis.com. Um, this can actually, uh, you can actually send emails from your uh, other email account, whether it be Gmail or Yahoo, and I will show you how to do that in the next video.